It was my sanctuary. Nobody lives there but me. I was really, I'm really sad not to be able to go in my house with my things. Denise Doogie had to leave all her worldly possessions behind, bar a few essentials, when disaster struck at Green Valley Mobile Park home last Thursday morning. Flooding caused a sinkhole behind her home, resulting in 17 residents being evacuated. Since then, Doogie has been staying with her mother and has no idea when or if she'll be able to return. I just decorated my living room. I've been there almost th well, three years on March 19th, and I finally felt comfortable enough to start decorating. And now I can't go back in. <laughs> so it's, it, it's just a thing. Let go, let God. It'll unfold. It'll be what it'll be. Um, I'm, I'm confident we're all going to be okay. It's just frustrating. Rich Cruz lives directly opposite. He was forced to spend a few nights in a hotel, but was able to move back into his home over the weekend. Cruz is worried about the financial impact this could have. My finances aren't great, and the possibility of me being able to sell my home anytime soon are dim at the moment. You know, I love this place, but until this is resolved and everybody's squared away, I'm kind of stuck. So this side of the street was the worst hit six days ago. This is where the landslide happened. As you can see, there's still a cordon in place. There's water on the floor. And the residents that live here still can't get access to any of their belongings. The exact cause is still unknown, but residents say they're frustrated by the lack of progress and don't know who will be footing the bill. The city of Oceanside says repairs will begin as soon as the weather allows. And in the meantime, contractors are working to prevent any further flooding. KPBS also contacted Rutherford Investments, who owns Green Valley, for comment. But they hadn't responded by the time the story went to air. Doogie and her neighbours just want to go home. Thank you. Claire Strong, KPBS News.